Ah, good evening, afternoon, why did that not pop up? God damn it, every time. Hey, I'm back. It is uh, now 3.13pm, also June 18th. Uh, this is the same day as the Nintendo Direct. I went out, uh, had lunch, got some stuff for my vacation to uh, Pittsburgh in a couple weeks, and uh, was going to get my hair cut, but the local barbershop is closed. They closed down, and the new one that's going to open up isn't open yet. They, like, relocated, and the new location isn't open yet. Whew! Anyway, this it's 3.14. I was going to start, like, an hour, hour and a half ago if I had, things had gone a little smoother. But, hey, I'm here. Do about two and a half, two forty-five of Final Fantasy fourteen before I have to stop. Why did I... Oh. Am I already getting party? Also, I'm dropping frames. Great. Even though I restarted my computer... Like, right before starting the stream. So that's cool. Hey, V2. Yeah, I'm here early. I've been here... I was here earlier, too, for the Nintendo Direct. I am very tired. It is extremely hot outside. Okay. Uh... Uh, let me do my cackpot. Like the little pterodactyl guy floating there. What, this one? That's that's a chicken. Oh, that thing. Petite pterodon. Oh, you need to unlock it to join that party. Oops. Oh, okay. Yeah, I haven't actually done the thing. I don't know where that is. Uh, no winner this time, so I'm just gonna... My three tickets real quick here. Uh, best bet is that one. You got the minion. Hope you enjoyed the rest of that. Sorry I wasn't there for the rest of that stream. Oh, it was fine. It's all good. Yeah, I got Enkidu. And, um... Ah, oh, goddammit. Alright. Nice! Damn it. Here, try inviting me now. Maybe I was in... Because I was in that thing. Where do we go for Bahamut? Anyway. It's the Coco Judo. Yeah. Notifications on the right. Oh, oh. Cross all party... party wide spells will behave differently. Okay. I don't know how bad it is with the with the frame drops here. I don't know why it's it it must just be Final Fantasy XIV that this happens with for some reason. Probably because I'm using extra bandwidth to be online with it. Odeon J has the quest Primal Awakening. Oh, okay, is he still in Vesper Bay?
to scratch off mini game easy to get coins with. I've been trying to get 13,000 13, or 13,000 coins of 7,000 or so. The framers kit. Uh, yeah, it's well, you can't lose anything from the mini game. You could just get three tickets for 30 MGP, and you're always guaranteed to at least win like 72 or more per, per play. You could win up to 10,000 on a single ticket, and you could play three times a day. So that's cool. I'm glad that uh, I can't stream this game anymore, apparently. That kind of sucks. Primal Awakening. Wish they would adjust these rates to be four players or something, because I'm a little worried about trying to get eight people now. Hmm. When Sen Senary Moon did wane, there sounded a blood-curdling roar. A new Primal had roused, the portents gave us to believe, one whose identity yet lieth beyond our ken. By thy hand, three Primals have since been vanquished. As each returned to the Aether, t'was observed the tremors foreshadowing this fourth grew in strength and frequency both. The being doth quicken, and in time it shall become a scourge upon the land. Even as we pondered a course of action, a benevolent soul did arise, one who would forestall this threat. Though she be tender in years, she is true of heart and steadfast of resolve. She would solicit thine aid, if thou art willing to proffer it. Lest thou wander, this maiden is of our order. Thus did the antecedent straightways consent that thou shouldest assist her, howsoever thou mayest. As soon as thou art able, hie thee to Wineport, where thy petitioner doth await thee even now. Thou shalt for a certainty find her visage strikingly familiar. Stop speaking like that, it's hard to read. I don't mind doing this unsynced, but I know that means you're just gonna like, you're gonna slap Ahmed off the stage very quickly. Wait a minute. Like a boat. Like right over here. That goes to Lano Scale. watch this cutscene. It's what they've done literally nothing to these raids when they did so much to adjust the Rum Reborn. Yeah, I don't know. How do you get a regular tombstones? Because my brother was mentioning those earlier, and I don't think I have any. I thought you were just you were just supposed to get them from like dungeons, but maybe not while I'm doing MSQ. added Echo to make it playable casually. This was before there was a separate Savage Raid tier, so without Echo it's really difficult, yeah. I was wondering why the Echo only uh, activates in like some areas and not others. Woo, yeah. Okay, that's a fun little flavor right there. Saved myself, I think, 20 gil by, by, by watching that cutscene. Penny pension. Penny pension at its best.
Wow. Allie said, this is like the second time we've seen her so far. It's been a wild adventure. As I recall, my brother Alfino took the liberty of introducing us when we first and last we met. But for the sake of propriety, I only say le vieux. I thank you for coming. I've heard much, of, much and more about your exploits. By your hand, the Black Wolf was slain and his ultimate weapon destroyed. You're possessed of great strength and courage. That much is plain. I shall have need of one such as you if I'm to see my mission through to its conclusion. As you may be aware, the violence of Dalamud, fall, Dalamud's fall changed not only the face of the realm, but also the base of the realm. Specifically, it played havoc with the etheric currents, creating vast confluences of ether below the surface. Among other phenomena, this led to the formation of subterranean caverns at key points of stress. One such cavern lies beneath Castrum Ossidens, and extends to, only God knows what, extends to only the God knows where. Despite appearances, Castrum Ossidens is as much, much a research facility as it is a fortress. Guys von Balser chose the site for no other reason than to probe the caverns without interference. As you went about vanquishing the returned primals, I observed a repeating wave pattern in the ether, corresponding exactly to the dates on which you reported to have felled Ifrit, Titan, and Garuda. Upon closer examination, it became clear that these unique waveforms emanated from Deep Elite, the aforementioned stronghold. When they added the stat crunch, they also added the epic echo, so you get even more boosted stats when unsynced. So it would be just as overpowered as you were before. Crucially, I recorded the same pattern during the recent celebrations, and have been since been given to understand that this phenomenon bears a disquieting similarity to the ones observed, observed shortly prior to the Calamity. Five years ago, my grandfather invoked the power of the Twelve that he might contain Bahamut. Alas, his efforts failed and he vanished, all together with his foe. I would know the truth of what transpired that day, of Grandfather's fate and of the metamorphosis that swept across the land. In casting light upon these mysteries, we will find a way to cure what ails this world. It is my belief that the answers I seek lie hid within the depths of the cavern. I would have you accompany me on an expedition to find them, shows I. If truth be told, I am not wont to rely upon others, and I have thus far handled matters alone, and I'm not blind to my limitations. Unescorted, I cannot hope to succeed in this endeavor. I swore that I would find a way to restore peace to Eorzea. If you just desire the self-same, then aid me as you aided my brother in the Scions. I am in your debt. You are a man of action, and I sense that we will accomplish much together. The, the rare gendered term. But let us not waste any more time. As I mentioned, Castor Mossadin straddles the cavern I wish to explore. If I am to have a hope of reaching it alive, I'll need you to infiltrate the stronghold first, and locate a path into the depths. Once you've done so, pray report your success to Storm Private Jabroka. You may consider her my assistant here in Wineport. I have every faith that you will not fail me. Twelve speed your way, Shozai. Fight your way through Castrum Ossidens. Okay, it's like right there. Can't see me if I'm flying. something. <laughs> Alice, I actually joined you from MSQ much later, it's funny if you just never did these questions. You mentioned seeing you over a year ago, and suddenly you're just friends, yeah. I mean, you meet her during the MSQ anyway, so not that surprising. Okay, y'all done? Good. Yes, fight your way through it, and not fly over it. 
Wait, did all I do is unlock that door for her? So she's still gonna have to fight through all the enemies I skipped. <laughs> Oh yeah, I changed my uh, title to Gentleman, which I got after doing uh, Hildebrand. I forgot. I forgot to show it off, but I got the, you get the Hildebrand clothes, too, by doing that. And you get... Uh, Silly guy. I've been expecting you, Shozai. By your coming, I take it you've successfully located the cavern entrance inside Castromacidans. So that's where it's to be found. Marvelous. I would allow me to properly introduce myself. Jabroka is my name, and it's an honor to serve Lady Alice. Though for reasons of convenience, at present I also serve the Maelstrom. This uniform accords me certain privileges, you see. In particular, a ready access to the Maelstrom's regional scouting reports. They provide a wealth of local knowledge, including information on secret passages. But enough about me. I shall notify Lady Ali Save of your discovery, that she may prepare for the expedition. Though I don't doubt your abilities, none can say what dangers lurk beneath the Castromacidans. For my lady's sake, as well as your own, please spare neither preparation nor caution. Pray choose your companions well. Binding Coil of Bahama. Is it just this quest? I thought it was like a whole quest line for Bahamut. Turn one to tr oh. <laughs> well, I guess that answers that question. What's, uh, what's the difference between these? Is it just, I'm supposed to do these? There's dirt, there's 13 raids? Oh my god. And you unlock four to five at a time. So I have to do all five of these. They're all short, don't worry, okay. Upon Vildebrand, Morkin. At the depth of the block, you find your block. Why do they let you? Like, it's. I guess, I guess. I mean, it makes sense that they give you multiple options in case people don't want to do the others. Yeah, that's fine with me. Oh. This isn't a quest, these are just optional raids. <laughs> Later raids don't do this thing of unlocking them all at once, it's weird. I was gonna say it's weird because like clearly they're connected in plot, so it's like weird that you could just suddenly skip ahead to floor five. Yeah, I don't mind doing this unsynced, it's fine. There's cutscenes in them too, okay. Yeah, you know what, it's best to just get it over with. We've already got enough left to this game to, to go through here. This auto attack you can see what the boss looks like. Imperial Exploratory Site, 237 yams. Getting carried by the strong cat lady. This gives me heavy P uh, PSOK vibes. Scars left by the calamity. Can scarce breathe for the surfe of ether. Tell me, have you ever seen the corrupted crystals such as these? Music here is excellent. Ooh, 
Such crystals manifested across the realm, and the course of the great river of Ether was irrevocably altered five years ago. Behold the one of the objects that caused the alteration, a fragment of the lesser moon, Dalamud. Ancient Allah created Dalamud, or Meteor, to use the Garlean name, to serve as a celestial prison for Bahamut. Its fall inflicted grievous wounds upon the land, wounds that have yet to heal, as is evident from the corrupted crystals. I'm not giving her the- I'm not putting the posh on her voice like I should be. Amazing. Dalamud's internal defenses still function, in spite of everything. Testament to the ingenuity of Allegans. Also, just remember, I actually need to spend your poetics real quick after this one since you're capped. Oh, nice. Orb. The Guardians speak to appropriate their advanced technology. I'm certain of it. I like how you're just like, I'm here too. We're about to come face to face with secrets that have long lain buried within the sands of time. Great dangers may lie beyond. We've come too far to turn back. Truth of the calamity is within reach. Oh, now it's too loud. Level 50 adds. Acoustic explorer, explorer, blah, blah, blah. Level 50. I like how you could just run ahead and I keep getting stuck for the cutscenes. And then just teleport you back during the cutscene. Gods preserve. Dark wings that would engulf the very heavens. These could only belong to Bahamut. Primal who laid Eorzea to waste five years ago. At Cartano, my grandfather sought to imprison Bahamut anew by invoking the power of the Twelve. Alas, the Dreadworm proved too powerful, and soon he broke free of his confines. Yet insisting to resuming the destruction that had begun, Bahamut vanished. Whither to, no one knew, until today. Excuse me. But I do not understand. I, I had artisanal tacos for lunch. If Bahamut is truly a Primal... How is it that he retains his physical form? Did Grandfather defeat him? Or is there some other explanation? Kitty mask. We must press on if we are to learn the truth. <laughs> I love how it makes it look like you just don't care. Confusing. Where's the path we came in from?
<laughs> the music starting for like one second and then immediately cutting out is the best part. It makes this very amusing. I think it like desync. I think it desynced from what I was doing for my client because he saw it was still attacking even though it got killed. Any of that stuff actually good at this point, or am I just like, is it just like immediately outclassed? Yeah, it's immediately outclassed. device that when it fixed the gear augments the gear strength. Oh. Elegant leather crafting material. Oh, I got glamour too. I forgot about that. Glamour dispellers. Some of it's good for glamour. Yeah. Alright. You're still leader. So if you want to commence the rest of them. It's entirely up to you. Any of your gear with their poetics. Oh, right. Yeah. Sorry. Forgot about that. What's the uh, limit on on stones? 999? Because if I'm getting if I'm getting 100 per one of these, then obviously I'm going to max out before we hit the end, and I'll probably have to go refill myself. 2,000. Oh, okay. So that's good. I could probably carry all the ones that drop. And then immediately blow it on armor. To be honest, though, I'm like wondering, like, should I get the rest of the armor for the black mage, or should I just wait and use it for another class?
warranty node. Wow, that one was insane. I guess because there's no cutscenes, that one was insanely short. I'll get a hand gear call. You know what? I'll, t I'll need that one. And the headgear. I don't really know if I need this. Pretty sure one of those had some kind of gimmick about having to speed run it and not have it super buffed. All right. Feel free to take whatever you want. By the way, I don't. I, I don't. I'm not fighting for anything here. So if anything drops that you somehow don't have already, f feel free. It's yours. I reckon we're only getting the gear coffers and passing on the tombstone looking ones. Oh, okay. Next one is silly. Only raid with no boss at the end. Looks engine room twelve hundred thirty three yams, the Ragnarok. This looks like a Sonic, uh, like a modern Sonic like falling area where you have to avoid getting electrocuted. when you're on the blue part. <laughs> oh well. Oh, I see. Does that, like, proc which way it sends you and now get you get multiple choices at once?
I want to play a job with quick AoEs. Or quick anything. Give me like shades of both the Mako Reactor area from 7, re like 7 Rebirth Remake, and also uh, Ocean Palace from Chrono Trigger. I don't know why, like the designs of the blades that we're standing on kind of uh, resemble stuff that you'd see in those games. come from. <laughs> it just fell. Why well, have like rings you go do for extra points? Yeah. Good question. Offers and then stones. Shaft. I suppose I have over uh, over 10,000 HP finally, which for a black mage, it's pretty damn impressive. Pre-level 60. Drive cylinder, 1,524 yams. Is this just going to be like all, is this going to be literally just all elevator fight? This really is the Ocean Palace. Clockwork bug. I wouldn't even move on my screen. I think it was just desync to the point where you killed it before I could even like proc it to come forward.
I almost feel like they could have just combined like all four of these into a single duty. It's a really weird uh, series of raids. The Dreadnought Knights are actually straight up reused from 13. Yeah, like Ultros. Central core, 1910 yams. <sighs> I had a drink. This was the first really extremely difficult fight in the game because of the new game jank and stuff. Some of the mechanics in this are pretty infamous. Oh. Don't think we'll really see them, though. Leave duty. No. Where are we supposed to... Oh. This is going rather more smoothly than I expected. It is indeed convenient to have a hero on hand. Yeah, I know, but they're not... The one you're not talking to them, you're you're just talking to the other person here. Notice the echo increases like three times higher than the other raids. Oh, I didn't even see that. Gods, the car the, ca the caravan should open up again, even at this depth. Ha! Huh. This resembles a finger, Walter. Cave named Finger. <gasps> and so it should. This is Bahamut's hand. But with the wings, it seems to be frozen. And for that, I count my blessings. But again, I find myself wondering, how is it able to retain physical form? I'd assume that Bahamut's reversion to Aether was the cause of the widespread changes to the realm. But if he is still here, then that theory no longer holds. But was it then that brought about the realm's sudden red regeneration? So much we do not know about Cartano. Also, I was reading this as, as Alfino, which obviously that is not. I haven't the slightest inkling how deep these caverns run, but we must continue. I was gonna say, I think that's the first time I've seen fall damage in a dungeon, but it didn't even do any damage to me. I see how you're doing. It's been a while. Oh wait, I can't. This one doesn't let you re like jump back to your party member.
relaxing, enjoyed your dinner. Nice. I'm gonna have dinner in about two hours. Yeah, we're doing the coils. We're doing them unsynced. So, Una's just kind of destroying everything. You can't rejoin any fight. You have to wipe for you to get back in. Uh... That's weird. I could have swore before I dropped in. It was like, do you want to warp right to the sealed area? Maybe that was a, maybe that was a party wipe. Warp to sealed area if it's, if it's if the battle starts when you're outside. Oh, okay. Also, I'd like a chat while in battle because it expects me to be slower to kill the ads. Yeah, there's a lot of. It seems like there's a lot of downtime right now. I'm just watching you circle around. how I'm there like I did something. Oh, I'm not. It's actually on um, where I was. For s <laughs> That's weird. The perspective on that. Oh, wait. No, I am right next to you. Okay. I have no idea what happened there. And now I'm up here. Handed Domiturge's arm. Alganrod is probably not even as good as what I have. Celery man. This feels like feels like the the, the uh, walk towards the uh, the uh, Paul Rudd's computer, so you can activate Celery Man. It's contraption. It is used to control the saturation of ether. I I saw the word. I don't know how. I I swear to God, I saw the word penis in that line somewhere. When I wasn't paying attention to it. What is wrong? What's on my mind today, huh? I suppose there's only one way to find out. My brain is, is working at uh, exactly 64% capacity today. Nintendo 64. The dragon you vanquished earlier. Doubtless you noticed the peculiar contraption around its neck. It was likely a receptor of some description, used to enslave the creature. Ancient Alag possessed the means to control dragons, it would seem. The Ishgardians would kill for this knowledge, though to be sure, it could be easily as brought to bear against them. An army of dragons could turn the tide in the bat of any battle, as the Garlians once learned of their sorrow. It would not be the least bit surprised as they now sought to exploit this power. 
Whatever their plans, this serves as yet another reminder of the might of the Alligans. One cannot help but wonder how so advanced a civilization came to fall. Yeah, yeah, jabroni mic moment. Certified mic moment. Gods be good. This this is Bahamut's head. Oh yeah. He roar. Oh, he's like fused to an etherite crystal. An enormous crystal, it pulsates as if as if it were a heart. And the primal that had awakened was Bahamut all this time? No, 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 no. This cannot be true. This assuming that grandfather died for naught. Confound it. We do not know enough to strike at it now. We must withdraw. Who is that? No, it can't be. Grandfather, is it truly you? There he is, it's the meme man. And we can't hear him. It's Louis. Louis Wah. No, don't leave me again. Please. Grandfather. I, I know. We could do no more for now. Hey, where's that Makote who, like, did everything for us? Why aren't they here? this looks like. How do we come to be in Northern Danilan of all places? Oh, but such details matter little. Grandfather's alive, Shozai. Bahama did not defeat him. She's doing the sparkle on pose. But why won't he return to us? I don't understand. This expedition has yielded more questions than it did answers. At any rate, we would both be better for a rest. Let's return to the Waking Sands and reflect upon what we have seen. Thank you, Shozai. Without you, none of this would have been possible. And we're just kind of here, huh?
Andre's Steakhouse. Very good. Finally got a bunch of free teleport tickets after just not caring about what guild I spent for the longest time and I had enough hunt currency for over 400. Wow. Roundhouse. Roadhouse. I'm pleased to see you again, Shosai. I've already shared the fruits of our expedition with Uyan Jay. Let's get together and ponder their implications. Ali says pledge. Uyan Jay would have you speak regarding your experience inside the binding coil. Full glad I am for thy safe return. Lady Alice hath apprised me of thy many, thy many experiences, as thou wilt doubtless. Oh, hey. Alright, I'll accept that in a uh, second. As thou wilt, wilt doubtless be aware, Master Louis Soi was my lady's grandsire. Gravely concerned I was for her safety, but twould seem that I need not been so. With all my heart, I do thank thee for watching over her. But come, thou must speak with Mistress Alice upon that which would transpire within the binding coil. May it serve to bring us closer to the truth of the calamity. Miss one, they would never go above 909. I'm expecting the teleport cost to be even more ridiculous in Dawn Trail, yeah. And 900 plus for Dawn Trail. Shall we begin then? Udion Jay, I understand you have a report of your own to share with us. That head turn was very sudden. Aye, my lady. Even as thou didst emerge from the depths, and an etheric disturbance betokening primal activity was observed. In Mordona was it marked first. By comparison of time and magnitude, we have since deduced its origin, the Cartano Flats. Strange, there have been no reports of primal activity in that region. Could have only been Bahamut. That would certainly explain how they came to be, came to be in northern Danalan. Somehow the cavern took us all the way from Vilbren to the heart of Aldenord. It would seem so, my lady. It is all but certain, then. After Bahamut disappeared five years ago, he hid himself deep in beneath Cartano, and has since lain dormant, regenerating. Aye, my lady. Taken together with thine own account of Bahamut's continued presence, the land's slowness to heal and the disorder of the etheric currents do point to one conclusion. Bahamut stirreth. If left unchecked, the primal shall drink of Eorzea's life force till he doth awaken to rain ruin upon the land. Nah, I'm built different. I can take him. Rest assured, I do not mean to give up, shows I. Bahamut may still live, but so too does Grandfather. For the past five years, he has been keeping vigil over his nemesis, Making certain that the primal does not escape. What's he been eating? Master Louis Soi, don't yet live. I, I durst not hope. And thou art certain t'was no mere manifestation of thine old too sorely felt grief. I know how desperate this may sound, Uriange, but I saw him with my own eye, my own two eyes, as did Shozai. But he vanished deeper into the labyrinth before we had a chance to speak. Two more, like fragments of Dalamud, pierced the earth when the lesser moon fell. One we have seen... If we could but find the other two, I am certain that we will find Grandfather as well. If thou so believeth, my lady, then I too shall have faith. If it please you, I shall notify the Grand Companies of this development. All Eorzea must stand united if we are to avert a repeat of the Calamity. That will not be necessary, you and Erdi Anjay. Being, this great consolate, uh, being the great conciliator that he is, Alfino would seek to unite Eorzea of his own accord. If rumors are true, that endeavor is already well underway. So let us leave this diplomacy to the diplomat, while we continue our investigation of Bahamut. I swear to you, no matter what it takes, we will find my grandfather and uncover the whole truth of the calamity. Shozai, you have heard me swear to do these things, but without your strength, I cannot hope to make good on my word. The danger to Eorzea is not past. For the sake of all who abide here, I pray that you will ever be our sword in the darkness. Okay, well, that's five down. Energy of your aid in solving the resurgent of the mystery of. Wait. Another turn in the coil, that's it. Energy would have to delve deeper in the mystery surrounding the Elder Primal Bahamut. As a crystal choked abyss lieth beneath the Cartano Flats, the unholy cradle of an Elder Primal, and by thy hand, which crews great and terrible rested from those once celestial depths. Yet, as oft is as of the case, an answer doth breed a profusion of questions, and the unknown doth beckon with irresistible allure. Near have the mysteries of the Red Moon lain so neatly within our grasp. Lady Alice hath sent word of her coming, this time once more to brave the precipice, and leap unflinching into the jagged wound that doth gape beneath the land.
My apologies. I trust I have not kept you waiting over long. I'm gonna reinvite so it's not a crossword party. Party, okay. Shozai, I am both delighted and reassured to have you at my side once more. I will not waste your time with trivialities. Let us proceed directly to the discussion of that which we have learned, and that which we hope to learn anon. Initially, it was evidence of a new primal that led us to delve into the cavern beneath Castromosidens, and to explore the subterranean scars left after the fall of Dalamud. As you will well recall, what we found was a vast, largely intact fragment of the fallen satellite, and within the depths of that structure we discovered that not the new primal we'd expected, but the broken form of Bahamut himself. Yet even this great revolution would soon be overshadowed by the appearance of my own dear grandfather. I have since shared our Sunji findings with Rambrose, preeminent scholar of the Sons of St. Coinoc, and he in turn did kindly furnish me with his theory concerning the Elder Primal's elegant prison. To it seemed that Dalamud was constructed to gather unto itself the rays of the sun, and thence channel this radiant bounty unto the crystal tower. Oh, there's, the, there's that location again. The ancients saw great potential in Bahamut's capacity to manipulate energies of otherwise unmanageable magnitude. It was for this reason that they did not bind that they did bind him within the red moon to serve as its living core. Do you remember the slight that greeted us in this culmination of our journey? The colossal devices that surround and seem to cradle the incomplete form of the Elder Primal? From the information provided us by the sons of Saint Coinoc, we have learned that these contraptions were termed internment hulks, and that each bore the designation Ragnarok class. The purpose of these hulks is to believe to be twofold. First, they are meant to act as binding coils, rendering the Bahamut incapable of escape. And second, they are meant to feed him. Perversely, the self-same energy which prevents him from moving also serves to sustain his corporeal manifestation. Bahamut is permitted neither to die nor to truly live. He is merely allowed to be. For century upon century was the Elder Primal thus imprisoned, bound about in fetters so subtle in their working, and it's so adamant that though his cell be destroyed, Bahamut lieth yet at the mercy of his long departed depart captors. Departed. It has long been held that the primals require the prayers of their faithful followers to exist, yet none alive worship Bahamut. Could it be, then, that the Allegans found a way to simulate prayer itself? They recorded it and put it on, and put it on repeat on an orchestral scroll. It seems the only logical explanation. I would postulate, therefore, that the regenerative me mechanisms in question also supply something akin to the power of prayer. Consequently, if all the internment hulks were to be rendered inactive, Bahamut should dissolve into the ether. Upon the evidence of thy previous foray, we determined that the Elder Primal sustained by three such binding coils. Thus we did commence to scour the realm and found that in the Twelves Wood as a, an as of yet unexplored fragment of the Lesser Moon bearing a most familiar etheric signature. And after conducting a preliminary investigation, we believe we have discovered a point from which this North Shroud fragment and the second of the internment hulks can be entered. As Eosia's sword in the darkness, I would have you once more lead the charge. I will, of course, be there at your side. Once you have made your preparations, head to Falgord Float and make yourself known to my assistant, Serpent Lieutenant Anil. The fallen fragment is not far from the settlement, and her position provides a convenient rendezvous point. I will break these elegant fetters, for they bind my grandfather as surely as they bind Bahamut. They binding blade him. Fire Emblem, binding blade. Speak with Anil at Fall Guard Float in the Black Shroud. See, I went to get my hair cut earlier, and uh, the barber shop I go to closed down in April, the one that's been in my town for like decades. Uh, some of the employees are opening up their own barber shop, like a couple blocks away. But I went there, and uh, nothing. There was absolutely nothing there. It was well, it wasn't. There was not nothing there. It was it wasn't open yet. Little foot. That's a cute one. Looks like a. Does it kind of look? Why does its head look a little phallic? Shozai Mazai, I've been expecting you. My name is Anil. 
I have been accorded with the rank of lieutenant within the Order of the Twin Adder that I may better assist Lady Alice with her endeavors here in the Twelveswood. Such authority has allowed me to act with inter without interference from the local sol soldiery and to conduct a preliminary investigation of the Alder Springs Fragment. From what we've seen of the exterior, the structure shares many a common feature with the one you explored in Lanoskea, and likely plays a host of similar com complement of guardians. But I fear words alone will do little to prepare you for what lies ahead. Pray seek out my comrade to the south and west. He is charged with observing all that occurs in the vicinity of the fragment, and will be well placed to show you the thing. Show you the thing, if nothing less. Yeah, it looks pretty cool from the outside. It makes me think of the ruins that show up in uh, Tears of the Kingdom in the Sheikah village. What bloody business brings you to this broken land? Unless you fancy being ground to a bloody pulp under the granite fists of a wandering golem, I suggest you bugger off. Oh. oh, my apologies, sir. Lady Alice did send word of your impending arrival, but to it seem I've grown rather too accustomed to shooing away curious cell swords and reckless explorers. Behold, if you will, one of the fallen shards of the Red Moon, Dalamud. Our initial survey covered no evidence of the Empire's presence, which, while fortunate in itself, meant that the approach to the, to the, approach to the fragment had yet to be cleared. After much effort, we succeeded in carving out a semblance of a path which should grant you access to the entrance, and that, I'm afraid, is where our progress has ended. The interior? While well, assuming that the architecture of this hulk resembles the first, the master controls you seek will be located on the bottommost layer, past all the ingenious and deadly defenses of which the ancient elegans are so seemingly indecently fond. If you would know more, I'm afraid there's nothing for it but to brave the depths of the fragment yourself. Lady Alice will soon be arriving at Fallguard. Fallgord. Pray do not tarry on your way back to the lieutenant's post. I imagine our young mistress will be most eager to commence the expedition. The road ahead promises peril aplenty, and I would humbly suggest that this is not the occasion to stint on preparation or provisions. May the Twelve watch over you. Master Mazai, I trust the private's explanation was worth the journey. Simply securing an approach to the fragment's entrance proved a monumental task. Do not think what defeating its inner defenses will entail. There's naught I might do to aid you. Ah, uh, Lady Alice. Oh, my apologies, Master Alfino. Has there been a change of plan? Rodion Jay informed me of the impending expedition. I really came to exchange a few words with my fellow Scion before he disappeared into the depths of the second coil. So what a story heavy this is, while well, at the same time when it came out, the difficulty meant it was really just for hardcore players. That is a distinction between easy story raids and savage tier raids now. Yeah, that would have that would have annoyed me if this would have just been like too hard for me to do. Shozai, though I would strenuously deny if she were, it, were she present, my sister's admiration and affection for our grandshire exceeds, exceeds even my own. Upon the matter of his legacy, therefore, Alice is wont to go above and beyond the call of duty. In our grandfather's absence, she has made the salvation of Eorzea her personal crusade. So is that which prompted her to brave the perils of the first coil. Yet the fact that she risks her life in, the man in this manner is not the grace of my concerns. No, it is her subsequent, fi subsequent fixation upon my grandfather's shade that worries me most. This quest to rid the world of Bahamut must not become a quest to save a man long dead. And sis my sister must needs have a better reason to fight. A time will come when the fate of the realm rests upon our shoulders, and when it does, we must be strong in our resolve, and certain of the stakes for which we risk all. There is a wide difference between fighting for the good of Eorzea and fighting for the love of a man who died for the good of Eorzea. Alice must choose her own path. She cannot rely on Grandfather to choose it for her, for he is gone. I am glad that it is you with whom she makes this journey. If Alice is to discover a deeper purpose, then where better to find one than at the side of Eorzea's greatest champion? Twas there that I found mine, after all. But tis past time I was gone. Fair fortune your endeavors, Shozai. 
Ah, uh, Lieutenant O'Neill, was it? I would appreciate you making no mention of my presence here to my sister. Maybe Elsa is due to arrive at any moment. I shall abide in confident expectation of your triumphant return. The second coil is now accessible. Shadow. DDR sounding music. That's strange. How, why could we not see all this before? I suppose it's only to be expected that corrupted crystal should accompany a disturbance of this magnitude. After all, the fragment likely pierced the ground to a depth of many hundreds of yams. Its swirling ether leaking from the void from the wound must warp the very air, creating a veil that hides these formations from view. Well, if it's not as we expected this to be a straightforward task, let's tread carefully, shall we, Shozai? No, it's fine. Una already cleared out every enemy you saw. Like, she, she, like they're already at the end of this area. It is imperative that we win through the depths of the structure and disable the mechanism that powers Bahamut's regeneration. Of course, if we should chance to encounter my grandfather upon the way, I shall not let him go again. Not while there is hope that he may yet be saved. Yeah, I hate to say this, but I don't think he's real. Mayhap we should put such thoughts from our minds until after we have successfully gained entrance to the place. That opening up ahead appears a suitable point of egress. Beat those, all right. I see. Ah. Now, you, you don't realize how slow Black Mage is until you get outsped by like every by by someone who's completely un, uh, by an unsynced higher level party member. You have scathe on your hot bar? Yes, I do. I have it on my other hot bar, because I never used it. Yeah, it's on my right button. The problem with Scathe is just there's really no way, no like point where it's like good on the rotation. It's only good if you know an enemy's gonna go down in like one hit after you use it. when you're forced to move because of boss mechanics and stuff to keep up time, yeah. 
I mean, now at this point, it's kind of point. At this point, it's kind of useless because when you get up, when you're with a boss anyway, you're kind of relying on fire starter. Which already, which already gives fire three uh, movement. Probably better that we're speeding through this rather than taking this level synced because I'm gonna have to pick I'm probably gonna have to like hard stop in 90 minutes, so if this takes longer than that. That's unfortunately a problem. I could like pause the stream, go and eat, and then come back and unpause it when we're ready, but that would kinda not be the best thing, to be honest. Uh, all classes, yeah. Yeah, no, this is really worth it. Should be able to get through it in that time. Okay. I'll stop. Uh, I'll stop fucking around then. Stream stop dropping frames at least. I don't know why. It's it just seems to be 14 that it happens with. Oops. Uh one second. Reach hole. It's giving me very PSO vibes. That's the uh, that's the other thing. Uh, in addition to the uh, mention of uh, FF7 and Chrono Trigger, might get lost here. Bear with you. Okay. I like how I, I like how we treated that as if I was the person that could do only person that could do that. When theoretically, anyone walking up close to it could. That armor? No, it couldn't be. Be on your guard, Shozai, though it defies all reason that he should live. I know of only one who wears such armor. He whom the Empire raises, the High Black Wolf himself, the Legatus of the Seventh Legion. I speak of the madman who brought the Meteor Project to fruition. Face the White Raven, now Von Darnus, harbinger of the Seventh Umbral Era. Nel Von Dornis. Ah, that was the name of the fool who perished upon the eve of the promised Age of Glory. Should not be uttered in these hallowed halls. That's the person who's the final boss of 1.0. Yeah, I figured. Since since we're, Our Realm Born starts with the sev Seventh Umbral er uh, Era, I figured that the events that started it are what shut down 1.0 at the end. Out of love for his loyal servant, the untrue deity named me Nias Deuce Var Darnus. Nial Deuce Darnus. Taking a drop in a hot deuce. The one true deity, Bahamut. He speaks of Bahamut. Oh, Lord Bahamut, thy name is as sweet water to parched lips. Now my heart swells as thy sacred touch. Blessed Sanctum is the domain of my God and his beloved children. Seek to defile its glory and you will answer to me. Have you actually seen the end of an era cinematic? Just to just recap, that was at the start of the game. Um, I don't know, I've seen the 14 opening and I've seen the, the A Realm Reborn opening. Which is the, uh, the fight that ends... Yeah, that's, that's it, right? You wanna get freaky with Bahamut, we get it, yeah. Yeah, that. Yeah, no, I've seen it. 
I made it a point to watch uh, both openings at the beginning. And I will do so again when we start Heaven's Ward. How is this possible? From what Alfino has told me, Nell was slain on the eve of the Calamity. He was hammered in, like his name. Whatever the truth of the matter, we must stand be on our guard. There's no reasoning with the worshippers of a primal. Call when the server shut down at 1.0, that cinematic played in game. These are the people it worked with and then bug out and just DC them. <laughs> That's cool, I didn't know that actually. I thought that was specifically made for Rum Reborn. The Outer Coil. How long was it between um, 1.0 shutting down and 2.0 launching? Eight months. Ah, all right. Lamia dancers. Yeah, motion sickness the room. <laughs> I've mentioned this before, but I get motion sick in a VR chat very easily. If 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 I if I get like it's it's fine when I'm moving normally, but if I have smooth turning on, or if I get on, on like anyone's model, like if they have like a seat on the back of it, and they turn smooth turning, that hurts my uh, that hurts my brain very quickly. My eyes just can't keep up with it. Asking for a friend. You're weird with VR, you only feel weird if you don't have smooth turning on. I can't, like, I have to have the choppy turning on. I just can't do smooth.
I'd actually pay a bit of attention to the mechanics this time. Oh good, they, they didn't make me walk, well I guess I'm, I'm on the escalator, so, or the elevator. I gotta show you what 1.0 looked like when it was shutting down. There's actually a whole in-game thing of Dalman falling from the sky. I believe I have a video. I've seen the video of it happening, but I don't remember. All I remember is the weird time loop thing that happens in 1.0 where we gave, um, Sid the, the thing. And it makes no sense how that happened. I really got to figure out what I want to do with my inventory here, because, uh, my retainer is almost full. And, uh, I have not put anything in the Chocobo saddlebag. Not that I really think there's a big, big issue with either. Okay, so there's four for this one. So we just did three, right? Or was that two? We just did two. Probably just put the weapon coffers on in the on the chocobo bag. Central Dex thirty two hundred fifty six yams. Determined Hulk IC O three. I'm guessing this is the confusing one. I'm reminded of the passages beneath the Kastromosidens. Must have traveled quite some different distance below the surface. More of the same tunnels. Twelve be good. Surely they cannot continue all the way down to, from the upper floors. It is difficult to see inside, but I have a terrible feeling that those corridors house more of the dreadful guardians you've already faced. It's that the Allegans excite itself in creation of chimeric beasts. And that the Red Moon teemed with a thousand, a thousand, thousand fantastical monstrosities, all to prevent the enemies of the ancient Empire from releasing the Elder Primal. I wonder, the creatures which prowled these halls, could they be thy beloved children of which Nail spoke? Well, this is yet another mystery to ponder upon our return. Shall we continue onwards? Maze time. Oh, you already killed it. Oh, wait, no, it just kills itself, huh? That does that.
the Avatar. Every path he took was a blind guess. <laughs> oh, I didn't die during that one. The fact that there are still silly dances I haven't found yet make me very happy. There's a lot of a lot of dances left to uh, unlock. I don't even think I've gotten all of them in the Realm Reborn. That's what I should do. I should look up what dances there are and see how to unlock them. So I know exactly where to go to get that. I may play this a little bit more off, off stream between now and when the patch comes out, but I'll have to see. It did auto-renew me for another month, so... Which reminds me, I should probably cancel my Netflix subscription soon, because I don't really... Now that Delicious in Dungeon uh, Season 1 ended... By the way, excellent. Excellent finale. I cannot wait for Season 2. That one I had as item shop, unfor... That one you had as item shop, unfortunately. Oh. I just got it because it's called the Goob We Do. <laughs> Final boss rematch time. That surely cannot be Dalamud. How? Where are we? Final resting place of Nal Von Darnus. Oh, I guess he's Deus because he's the second. I don't know. This is the grave for the undeserving. And for the crime of trespassing upon my god's sanctuary, this place shall serve as your grave too. No. failure, Nail Von Darnus left felt the currents of ether began to bear away his essence. But before oblivion could claim the last of him, a divine will reached out, and I was born. Then did the words of my god resound in mine ears. Bring unto me mine and bring unto mine enemies crushing defeat, that they may not know, they might know despair without end, and claim these nuts, and claim thee thus victory, which thou wast once denied. And that's, that's what that looks like, right? 
and claim these nuts. The nuts. Claim these down nuts, baby. that little remained of Nail's essence when Bahamut plucked him from the brink of oblivion, and the result was a strange simulacrum. Nevertheless, her aura bespeaks great power. She channels the rage of the Elder Primal himself. Lord Bahamut, thy wish is thy command. None shall escape thine unquenchable fury. Come, ye dull, unthinking beasts. Bear your teeth. They will avail you not in the calamity to come. Before this is the last time that we proposed the final boss team, and it's so good. Really?
Okay, this thing's supposed to kill me instantly, but Echo, lol. Yeah. Yeah, I don't quite get, like... Man, I don't know. Well, this is a bit frustrating. Phase 2 music is by Soken. You can tell it's by someone else after Phase 1. <laughs> Soken was at the, uh, is going to be at the Distant Worlds this weekend. And, uh, I was almost considering getting a ticket, but there was, like, n there was only, like, a couple left, and they were, like, two times, like, more than twice as expensive as the, uh, Sonic Symphony tickets. I was like, ah, I don't think I have the money for it right now. I'll wait until it comes back the next next time. Okay, all right, I see how that goes now. Just gotta keep moving so it doesn't actually land on you. Oh god, oh Jesus. I, how are you supposed to do this with eight people? I feel like it'd be even harder, it'd be even harder with eight people. If you're getting eight meteors like hitting the field at once and they all do AoE. If you can't expect for eight people since it does it on everyone, said stacks all the meteors. Oh, okay. So it spreads them out. That sucks. There's like no way I can avoid all of them. Unless we just both stay on one half of the field. Wow, you get... Are you kidding me? 
That one was nowhere near me and it killed me. I think we might have a problem here. I'm gonna have to find a way to just put you in the thumbnail for this one, since you're doing 99% of the work. <laughs> yeah. I don't even know what killed me that time. A meteor, like, I wasn't where one of the meteors dropped, and I still took like 20,000 damage from, from one of them. Might have been too close to you when it hit me, uh... Alright, whatever. We got more coil to go. Creature, would that you had never been born. You had surrendered your physical form and collapsed into ether. But Bahamut denied your death and imprisoned what little was left of you in an ethereal shell resembling what, I wonder? Images from um, something. I didn't read it. Images from your memory, perhaps? But that shell is now broken, and your primal deity seems disinclined to sustain your existence. My primal deity. I kneel to no icon. What need have I to beg the favor of such filth? I am Nail von Darnus, the goddess of the Seventh Legion. No, a moment. My thoughts are clouded, and this body is not mine own. Could it be that you spoke the truth? Was I ensorcelled by the Lesser Moon's ancient prisoner? That will not happen again. You speak as if Bahamut no longer controlled you, but that's impossible. Once a primal ensnares a mind, it cannot be freed. Unless, unless Bahamut simply relinquished his claim, what need is he of a broken spirit bound for the ethereal realm? Oh, that I should fall prey to the very influence I sought to purge from the land. The irony is galling. Do not assume that all my actions were chosen for me. It was my will that the Meteor Project be resurrected. Mine and none other. Yes, yet it seems that my grand designs were destined to fail. Even the ungentle release of death was denied me. Now, please, you must tell us more of the Calamity. 
must know the truth of what has befallen our world. What has become my grandfather, Archon Louis Soi. You are Louis Soi's grandchild. Child? Child of mana? Grandchild. Ah, oh, the fates are generous with their cruelty. Continue on if you would have if you would have your answers. They wait you at the terminus of your path. But know that this path leads only to despair. Light of the truth was ever harsh and unforgiving. Why do you say this? Grandfather will be freed once put a stop to Bahamut's restoration, will he not? What are you not telling us? Steal yourself, child. Only unbending resolve and merciless strength can conquer what lies ahead. The weak can do naught but weep under the pall of their own misery, as the frail child I once was. Silence, chattering raven. Your wretched wings are broken, and you shall soar no more. Boomstone. Crimson moon. Brilliant sears mine eyes. Shit. I recognize that voice, Shozai, but never would he say such words. Come, let's finish what we came to do. All will be put all right when the final Hulk lies dormant. Grandfather will be himself again. I'm sure of it. generates more swiftly than I anticipated. Let's hope that disabling this coil will serve to slow the process. This display seems different, but the controls appear to mimic the mechanism found on the Lanoskean Hulk. It shouldn't pose a problem. Shows I forgive me. The moment I beheld Nal's transformation, hope wilted in my heart. I not believe you could stand against the manifestation of Bahamut's power. I couldn't. For all your fabled strength and skill, I felt certain that he was going to lose you, just as I lost my grandfather. Even he, a man who whom fought whom not, nothing was seemed impossible, was humbled before Bahamut's might. And yet, look how far we've come. It is incredible the feats of which we are capable, our boundless potential. So this capacity for greatness, I believe, that Grandfather so dearly wished to protect. With all that has occurred, I have come to understand that much, at least. There's still two. Didn't we disable one of them? Tis done. Shall we make our way back to the surface and gather our thoughts? We've seen much that will benefit Uyan Jay's learned perspective. Ow. Father, it is you. Then why? Abandon this quest, empty say. I will not countenance further sabotage of the coils. Sabotage? But but we must disable the coils of Muhammad's revival. Your defiance seals your fate. Hmm. He's gonna Bahamut blast her. No, you are not who I thought you were. My grandfather would never...
the guy from the meme? Yes, it is, Robo Bunny Hops. Hey, how you doing? Foolish girl. How could the White Raven allow herself to be bested by such sniveling opponents? Yeah. Listen well. We all exist at the pleasure of one divine will. And the word of Lord Bahamut is absolute. Wish these were voiced, because Louis has a cool voice. Remember at the beginning of the game when he was the narrator of the opening? Oh, really? Scurry back into your holes, vermin. You've been granted this one reprieve. Should you be so foolish as to crawl into my lord's domain again, I will crush the life from you myself. I can't remember because it was a long t it was so long ago, but was he like the same guy that voices Igor in Persona 5? Just drank coconut water and then found out the BB fate was August, so I don't know yet. <laughs> nice. That light in grandfather's eyes. He has suffered the same fate as Nail. Oh, Best Buy Date was in August. Last August, I'm guessing you mean. My grandsire is no more. There is not was not by a fan but a phantom that profanes his noble memory. This mockery must be expunged. I will not rest until I free grandfather's soul from Bahamut's tyranny. Do you hear me, Bahamut? Your time is at an end. Eorzea and my family will be avenged. Again, why are there still two, uh, two things refueling him here? If, if we already shut one down. Keen to seek Riyaj's own opinion on the disturbing events. His VA is that persona guy. Yes, I knew it. Idlin. He has a very, like, distinct voice, kind of like this, but it's actually, like, kind of older sounding a little bit. I mean, he's older than me, so probably. Truly, it was wonderful to, esca wonderful to escape that stifling air and return to northern Danilan again, it would appear. I must thank you, Shozai. Were it not for your bravery, I strongly, do I strongly doubt that I'd be standing here now. Ah, uh, but you need not tarry on my account. The danger is past. Pray go on ahead, and pray apprise uh, Yuyanje of all that has occurred. I will join you anon. My thoughts are yet unruly, and I would rather rest here for a while. Oh man, look at all those little, little chairs there. That's the kind of stuff Zelda will be copying in uh, the new Zelda game. The triumphant hero doth return. Thine eyes speak of the dread task's completion. Second coil now lieth dormant. Yet I sense the tidings thou bearest are not altogether glad. Pray tell me, what ill hath cast the shadow which falleth now across thy brow? foe and an old friend. So twas the ethereal shadow of Master Louis Soi that Lady Alice beheld, an unnatural conjuration and thrall to the Elder Primal. That the fiend should deign to choose him of all men, even in full knowledge of the Shade's true nature, I'd be hard-pressed to weather such a confrontation. Yet what, agonizing, what agonies must the young mistress have endured? Such torment did she near deserve. 
Mayhap twere better if the Lady Alice did so absent herself from future forays into the coils. I've come too far to surrender the, to grief, Rodianje. My lady, I am now resolved to defeat these fiends, and naught shall sway me from my path, unless peer more deeply into the well of our discoveries. As you wish, my lady. By your leave, I would speak first of the Coil's late guardian, Neil von Darnus. Von Darnus was a legatus of the Garlean Empire, who strove to bring about Eorzea's final destruction, only to fall even as the sixth sun did set. If thou hast heard tales of the White Raven, then it is he whom of who they speak. Aye, he, I say, for Nail was certainly no maid. The noble house of Von Darnus, as well as we discovered all too late, had long safeguarded the wisdom of ancient Alag. T'was thus that the Legatus came to learn the true nature of Dalamud, and to seek to employ the Red Moon as a weapon against Eorzea. But the Crystal Tower and the mechanisms required to command the satellite le lay hidden beneath the ground, compelling Nail to construct a far less subtle mechanism, and in his first faltering attempts to communicate with Dalamud, he did likely rouse the satellite's slumbering prisoner. Thenceforth, the White Raven's soul belonged to Bahamut. He was fortunate indeed to acquire so powerful but thrall by chance. It is little wonder if he was so loath to part with them. Let's well, a simple thing like death deprive one of use so useful a pawn. Though we may accuse him of bungling Von Darmus' resurrection, I dare say Bahamut was as content to have a handmaiden as a manservant. I only hope that the two thralls we encountered were the extent of his flock. Yet I cannot help but dwell on Nail's words, those beloved children of whom he spoke. I assumed at first that he referred to the moon's beastly guardians, but should Bahamut have slayed and enslaved other mortals, we must needs remove his source of worship, otherwise our efforts to disable the coils shall be for naught. Forgive me for mine indelicacy, my lady. Thou art wise indeed to speak ex of expunging the primal's thralls, but canst thou truly pursue a course which will cost thee thine own grandsire? My heart and mind are as one in this matter. Grandfather's salvation can be won but by a single method, the destruction of Bahamut, and aught that might serve to sustain him. Shows I, while Uyanje and I endeavor to ascertain the existence of my further thrall, any further thralls, as just you grant yourself a moment's respite. Rest assured that I will contact you the moment I have need of your in 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 inimitable talents. That we have achieved so much, I owe you. I fear, however, that our trials have only barely begun. Though time has dulled the pain of thy passing. I find that I am wounded afresh. Master Louis Soi, what good shall come of this unending search for knowledge and truth? Long have I believed the pursuit of such treasures to be the duty of every true Charlion. Yet each new revelation serveth only to keep, keep further anguish upon those whom he, we would prote fain protect. Must we truly reach for more? So you found your resolve, dear sister. Will you now find a use for the secret, for the key that you only you and I hold? Given our familial prosperity, propensity for curiosity, you would do well to remember that the keys may serve to seal doors as well as unlock them, and Bahamut is a most unwelcome guest to whom the door should never have been opened. You can handle the truth. Man is wont to cast light wherever so or so ever secrets lie hid in darkness, though that which he illumineth seldom bringeth him joy. So is with such unhappy truths as Bahamut's immense shadow doth conceal. Yet ever onward for forgeth Mistress Alice, undeterred by the burden of knowledge that weigheth heavily on her heart. It is a perilous path she had chosen, and a painful one. I prithee, Shozai, remain by her side as her val valiant blade, that she might see her quest to its conclusion. Shozai, it is well that you are here. Yeah, I never left. My lady, how might I serve you this day? I have met with some difficulty in my mission, Udianje, and I should be grateful for your counsel. As you know, Bahamut's physical form is regenerating beneath the Cartano Flats, even as we speak. If we are to prevent his return, we must needs disable the two remaining intermittent hulks that sustain him. Every moment our mission is delayed, the realm is pushed closer to the brink of destruction. I don't understand, didn't they only say there were two more? And we just did the second one? So there's only one more. Why we? Why didn't we disable the first one? Alas, though I've determined the locations of the fragments of Dalamud leading to the hulks, I've been unable to find a way to enter them. And gaining admittance is but the first step in your perilous undertaking. 
When last thou descended into Bahamut's subterranean fastness, thou didst discover, didst thou not, that the dread primal had been bound by the shade of Nel von Darnus unto his will. And, thou, and though thou didst cons consign the fallen the goddess to be blessed oblivion, thou mayst recall that the piteous wretch was, wretch was not alone. Doubt not that the Bahamut's other thralls seek to hinder thy passage. You can say his name, Uriange. I have not forgotten that my grandfather is waiting for us. My lady, I would remind you, as oft as I remind myself, that the man whom we both loved and revered is no more. What remaineth is but a shade which defileth his memory. The vile verbiage that spilleth from his lips must not be heeded, for it cometh not from your grandsire, but from Bahamut himself. You need not worry, Uriange. Come what may, I will not stray from the course. I will not let grandfather's sacrifice be in vain. But mere words will not take us whither where we must go. As I said, I have been unable to find a way to enter the fragments of Dalamud. My lady, might I suggest that you visit the fragments again in Shozai's company? Full oft hath the warrior light set events into motion by virtue of his presence alone. It is possible that he may do so again. I, the while, shall search for the answers of mine own. By our combined efforts, I am full sure I am that the path shall be revealed to us ere long. Were it anyone else, I should question the wisdom of such advice. And I cannot deny but what you say about Shozai is true. Very well. I shall do as you suggest. Assuming you have no objections, of course. Good. Now we seek entry to the two fragments of Dalamud. One lies at the Burning Wall in Eastern Danilin, and the other at the Singing Shards in Mordona. Things should happen if the main character is there. Yeah, exactly. I left an assistant in each location with instructions to continue searching for the means of ingress. It's not impossible that they could have since found something useful to us. Let's begin by visiting the, my, my man at the Burning Wall. My man! Dex, I think it was. Yeah, I don't think we're finishing this in like 30 minutes. We might have to we might have to put a pin in the in the remaining uh, parts of this until uh, I stream it again. Are you gonna be around tomorrow night? Because I was gonna do Paper Mario later tonight, rather. We'll be here tomorrow? Okay. Alright, so no rush then. We'll finish we'll finish Bahamut up and then I'll do 2.5. I could probably get through both in one night, because 2.5 is only eight quests. And then uh I'll probably like if I start an er if I manage to do like a super early stream of it, I can probably get through 2.55 in one go. Maybe not though. That is 18 quests with an hour and a half of cutscenes, so. Who can say, really? 2.55 is a movie, so definitely gotta make sure you have time for that, yeah. It's a movie, but it's also 18 quests long, so I can't imagine that actually playing it is quick. That might have to be two streams on its own. Part 28 of A Realm Reborn. We might, uh, we might surpass Pokemon Scarlet as the longest game I've ever streamed. I mean, time-wise, I'm pretty sure this is definitely the longest game at this point. And I'm not even counting the expansions as, like, the same playlist. When I do Heaven's War, that's gonna be a brand new, like, start point. I say, are you not Master Mazai, my lady's most faithful companion? Remember what suffers so much from we don't have enough content to so make everything last forever, yeah. Sinus, sir, at your service. May I say what an honor it is to meet you. How goes the survey, Dex? My lady, it shames to me to say that I found no viable path to the fragment. Though it stands there before our very eyes, the way thither has thus far proven impassable. 
When the fragment flew and pierced the land, it caused a prodigious amount of ether to spew forth. Twas this that gave rise to the land's twisted lay, which seems destined to thwart our efforts. Even were an opening to exist, I fear that we would struggle to reach it. We cannot give up. Keep trying. So near and yet so far. What of us not to stand here and stare at the thing? Let us lead away to Mordona and try the other fragment. Perhaps Sinus has fared better. Uh, upon that note, my lady, there's something I must tell you. I'm sorry to report that I lost contact with my brother just a, over a bell ago. As you know, the singing shards are home to f many fell creatures. Ogres among them. While I do not wish to cause any undue alarm, I fear something unspeakable may have happened to Dex. What? Why didn't you... Give me strength. I was hurried to my assistant's aid, Shozai. Are you not going to address the fact that you're referring to them by the wrong name? No? Also, if I'm here, wouldn't I? Wouldn't you want me to go and look at the thing to see if it would... Okay, never mind. Yeah, I hate to say this, but things are looking kind of grim for uh, Heaven's Ward happening this year. I, I absolutely don't think I'm going to have the time for it with how many fucking RPGs are coming out at the end of this year. Dra Dragon Quest 3 is coming out a week after Mario & Luigi. We got Visions of Mana at the end of... Uh, at the end of uh, August. We got that new Zelda game coming out at the end of September. We got um, Ace Attorney Investigations coming out in September. Which again, incredible timing, because I've been saying for like months now, I'm going to stream Investigations 1 and 2 this year. And then they announced that remaster from the Direct. So that that's, makes me happy. Romantic Saga 2, I don't think... I'm not getting that remake. I haven't pl I have a version of it that I haven't played yet. Getting a physical release, glad they're doing it again. Yeah, no, they've been, I mean, for some reason, like, Ace Attorney, Ace Attorney in, in America lately has been, has been, on, like, really good with getting physical releases. Um, Great Ace Attorney Collection got a physical release, Apollo Justice got a release, and Investigations got a release. The only one that didn't get an English release physically is the, um, is the original Phoenix Wright trilogy. And that's because it wasn't really like it wasn't really like made for modern consoles. It was actually made for the previous generation of consoles. There is a physical version of it though that you could get, um, like an eight from like an Asia English, like Play Asia or something. And that does uh, that does have the English versions on them. But yeah, all the Ace Attorney games for the Switch have had physical releases, outside of that one. Thank you, adventurer. For a moment there, I fear my bones are about to be ground up and used to bake bread. Huh. I am relieved to see that you're unharmed. It was wrong of me to press such a dangerous task upon you. M my lady, your worries are wasted on me. Twas nothing at all, I assure you. Capcom in general has been pretty good lately. Yeah, they have. I mean, un ex unless you're grading them on how much they care about Mega Man, in which case the answer would be they're still sitting on a title that was leaked out four years ago that hasn't come out yet. Or been announced. Where are you, Rockman Tyson? Ahem, if it please you, I shall report on my findings. As you can see, the tip of the fragment's exposed, and the rest is encased in rock and crystal, rendering it impossible to enter the structure. 
My track's invading the area around the fragment, but that is like to take time. There's really no telling how deep we may need to dig before we find a suitable point of ingress. As such, I'm forced to conclude that gaining entry of this fragment is unrealistic. Forgive me, my lady. I found it. We're losing precious time. What are we to do now? Colonel. Tis I, Urian J. I have glad tidings I have for thee and thy, my, thy lady. For a blessing, a way hath been found by which thou mayest enter the remaining fragments of Dalamud. Pray escort Mistress Alice to Cerulean Processing Plant in Northern Danilin. There all shall be made clear. The, um, that Marvel vs. Capcom collection is probably going to get a physical release because it's the same, it's like the same format as the, uh, the Darkstalkers one. So I imagine that'll get a physical cartridge. And it's going to be only 40 bucks, apparently. 40 or 50. Which, for a licensed game, for a Marvel licensed game that Capcom's reviving, I would say that's a pretty damn good deal. Because they, uh, because that, that license probably isn't cheap to renew. Udion J has found a way. Then we must go to him at once. Hand gestures. Alright, that's the dark area in Northern Dandelion that I've, like, never spent any time at. I crossed through it on the way to the final battle that one time, and that was it. My apologies for summoning you thus from afar, my lady, but tis here that your journey may finally begin. I did wonder. To my knowledge, there are no fragments in northern Danilan. No, are you, nor are you mistaken, my lady. Yet a pathway doth exist, one which you have yourself have made use of in the past. At the conclusion of your several of your forays into the binding coil, it was at the crystal formation which lied to the north of this place that you did emerge, was it not? Yes, an ethereal stream bore us back to the surface. That much I had surmised. Are you suggesting we could use it to return underground? Even if that were possible, would that simply bear us back to those places we've already explored? How? It would lead us to the exact same spot both times. It need not, my lady. Pray, me, pray allow me to, to explain. Upon the evidence of experience, it seems plain that the two intermittent hulks may share the same self-same ethereal egress. From this did we infer that the others may be connected, and likewise as we did labor long to verify the existence of further tributaries of the self-same stream, in which task uh, we were at length successful. T'was then but a matter of arriving at a solution to the problem of traveling to an undetuned destination, that one might reach what we may call the headwater. We promised to employ, we proposed to employ a modified etherite, which serveth to amplify such ripples as do originate from said source. By focusing one's essence upon these ripples, it should be possible to make the journey. Yet be fairly warned, my lady, as with all untried modes of ethereal travel, this method entailed considerable danger. Merely to attempt the voyage could cost you your life. That's a risk I'm willing to take. You are brilliant, Udianje. But I am curious. Did you have assistance in forming this plan? You could not help noticing the repeated use of the word we, unless you've taken to using the majestic plural in our absence. Ah, <laughs> nay, my lady. As you correctly surmised, I was not alone in this endeavor. Meaning there are others who are aware of our mission. Well, it cannot be helped now. Preventing Bahamut's return is what matters. If some secrecy must be sacrificed to achieve our goal, then so be it.
So that must be the modified etherite. But what are the immortal flames doing here? Those men may be sworn flames of Ulda, but they are first and foremost faithful retainers of House Levelur. Alfino, so it was you helping Yurian Jang. Who else could it have been, dear sister? Lest you worry, I have no intention of making the details of your venture public. Like you, I would prefer to avoid causing a panic. But given that which is at stake, namely the survival of our realm, one must be willing to accept help when it's offered. Would you not agree? At the very least, do not be cross with Uriyan Jay. T'was at my behest that he kept silent. Humph, we will speak later. Pray forgive me, my lady, but knowing full well your intent, I judged it meet, I judged it meet that Alf Master Alfino be informed. Though your grandsire hath become Bahamut's thrall, his noble blood courseth yet through both your veins, and if he must be needs struck down... Do you hear that, Alfino? I mean to strike down Grandfather, and when I have done so, I shall vanish Bahamut to the ether. Nothing you will say will sway me from my course. I will protect Eorzea, and I will uphold Grandfather's legacy. Grandfather's legacy? So you still do not know what you yourself desire. Your actions are still driven by borrowed resolve. Borrowed resolve? What does that have to do with anything? Protecting Eorzea was grandfather's goal, and we made it ours. Both of us. That's why we came here, unless you've forgotten. God forbid I should ever forget, Ali say. But you misunderstand. I do not question your resolve, only once it came. If it were your own, you would be able to tell me precisely why you desire so fervently to protect Eorzea. Yet you cannot, for it is not your, res your resolve, but grandfather's. You may struggle to see the difference, but borrowed resolve shall never be as strong as that which springs from within. Stolen Valor. <laughs> it's like one of the funniest terms ever. But let us speak of this another time, for now preventing Bahamut's return is all that matters. To be plain, I have no objection to striking down whatever's left of Grandfather. Know, however, that I'll be accompanying you this time. The son of House Levilor, I will be present for his final moments. Very well. You may join us on one condition. I make the decisions. If it please my lady, the name's Ak Erkenrad. Our preparations are just about complete. When you're ready to embark on your mission, just give me word. I'll be waiting for you at the Ceruleum Processing Plant. Pay no heed to my brother. You can rely on me. We've come far together, you and I, and together we shall see our journey to its end. Hey, what's up? Dalamud's Talons. Only if there are Raichus here. <laughs> I'm waiting for you, Master Mazai. Please say the Aetherite's primed and ready. As you know, the remaining intermittent hulks are connected to the fragments in Eastern Dandelion and Mordona. It's the former that will be sending you first. Now you'll be starting inside the Hulk, meaning you won't have to cover so much ground. Drawback being they'll fighting for your life from the moment you get down there. Best be prepared for anything for a lady's sake, if not your own. And that's about all I can tell you. When your preparations are in order, just give me the word and I'll send you on your way. Maybe throw a prayer for your speedy return, just to be on the safe side. Whew! Final coil of Bahamut now accessible. So there's four more, so it is four more. So is the is the is the Bahamut fight on the fourth one, or is there like a separate raid mission afterwards? Look at all these coffers. It's the it's on the fourth, okay. Central Dex, 4560 Yams, Interment Hulk IC-06. So this is how it looks on the inside. The Interment Hulk still functions. The teleportation was a success. We have come to the right place. 
There's no telling how much further Bahamut has regenerated since we last beheld him. Let's make haste for the main bridge and deactivate the coil. How much time you got again? There's a big cutscene between three and four. I would say let's just let's get let's let's do one and two here, and then just stop. Even if there's time, a couple minutes left, because um, we'll we'll save the last coil for next stream. I'm assuming these are two th these coils are two missions each. They're receptacles similar to those in the previous Hulk. In fact, if this if this first one takes too long, I might I might just say we'll save the last three for next time. Those held chimerical beasts, but only with that only the Allegans know what other abominations may be sleeping within. Again, I would like to do this all in one go. It's just I, I'm going to be called down for dinner in like pretty much exactly 20 minutes. We almost have di we have dinner at like the exact same time every night. It may well be part of Dalamut's internal defenses. We must stay on our guard at all times. Sector 9. <laughs> Deactivating the teleporter. Teleporter reactivated. A lot, this area looked a lot bigger than it ended up being. Uh oh. All those tubes is broken. I'm pretty sure that's what was in it. Cabin in the woods. Imdu good. God, what happened? Never notice there's like another twin Tania and a tube back there. I'm sorry, that sucks.
Ah, oh, that's what I wanted to pick right there. And play of shame is what you're observing. Uh, I mean, it, it's if, from what you told me, that definitely seems to be the case. That shows you still moving ahead for some reason. Like, where are you walking to? It's the end of the platform. By the twelves. Dragons. So many. Oh, that's Ali say. Whoops. That's gonna be confusing in the future. Thanks to that one person speaking so loud in public that everyone could hear the conversation. Oh, yeah. Like when you're on, when you're on public transportation, that happens. As we are aware, the elegance possess the means to control the creatures, but to imprison them thus is barbaric. I would not wish such a fate upon my worst enemy. It is plain that no love was lost between the Elegans and the Dragons, but was it truly necessary to creep a great number here? They get different outfits later so you can tell them a party's here. Oh. Delema did not want for defenses, and thus we have experienced firsthand. Such guardians and Elegans as the Elegans created, both living and unliving, were surely no less capable of repelling intruders than these poor creatures. Tell me something, Alice. Have you not managed to determine by whose will Bahamut exists? No, I have not. At first I assumed that Bahamut had no people of his own, but the Elegans had perhaps discovered a way to simulate prayer itself. However, Nail's words gave me cause to reconsider, specifically the Shades' mention of Bahamut's beloved children. From that I infer that the primal is given form by the will of worshippers whom we've yet to... Oh... God, strike me down for a blind fool. Bahamut's beloved children, right there before my very eyes. How could I be so stupid? Who else but the dragons of Eld would summon Bahamut? Who else would they, who could, but they could sustain him? I do think I wonder why the Allegans kept them imprisoned here. Even should the flame of Bahamut's life go out, his faithful children would summon him back. For this reason, the Elegant Empire kept an army of dragons here in perpetual state of duress, so that they might sustain the primal's existence. Truly, the Elegant's ingenuity knew no bounds, and neither did their cruelty. Small, I wonder, that Bahamut was so enraged. No one, no one denied that it was the man who sowed the seeds of the calamity. Will you now turn your hatred towards your own kind, dear sister? Don't patronize me, Alfino. I merely acknowledge our guilt. Lest you be in any doubt, I have no intention of following Bahamut to lay the world to waste, regardless of the atrocities the Elegants committed against his kind. We have no choice but to eliminate all who worship him, be they his children or his thralls. It seems reasonable to assume that the system responsible for the Primal's regeneration is also responsible for sustaining the captive dragons. If we disable it, all shall perish. Let us press on. The 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 the. I think we could, if we could do one more in less than 10 minutes, we could probably get it done. Generation grid, 6,835 yalms. Oh, 
that was just before Dawn Show because they're actually temporarily disabling cross data center travel to the ones that the ones other than the new one. Oh really? Porter is just like it launches you physically. How are you not breaking your bones when you hit the ground? Reactivate that then. Oh, we have to. Re we just have to return. Okay. This one's open now. Okay. I'm very confused how this... What happened there. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Why that went like that. I'm dropping frames again. I mean, I've been dropping frames the whole time, but it's getting worse now. We have to wrap it up.
Why can't I? There we go. to do there. <laughs> that was that was frustrating. I felt like I was actually like not fucking that one up. Ah whatever. I don't care. It's done. That's all that matters. Yeah, I gotta go in like five minutes, so it's like after this cutscene, I'm gonna wrap it up for now. We'll save the last coil for next time. I gotta figure out what's causing this to drop so many frames. Why, this looks like a model of Dalamud, yes. For millennia, Bahamut must have gazed at this unchanging view. Trapped inside a prison that was scarcely large enough to contain him, unable to move, denied the release of death. How his hatred for man must have burned. I don't think it's fine rising, because this always seems to happen when I'm doing 14. And that hatred found an ideal vessel in Nail Von Darnus. In many ways, Bahama is to be pitied, not loathed. But knowing the true extent of his fury, I'm more than convinced that ever the necessity of our endeavor. Besides, this is not the only soul that cries out for vengeance. Whew. Wow, that was very well timed. If I had been able to start an hour earlier, we probably wouldn't be able to finish this in one go, which is un unfortunate. But uh, hey, there's still there's still more stream today to go, so don't worry. I, I really need to sort through my shit later. Look up something about frame drop, but it's just this toggle V-Sync. It's not the game that's... I, I don't know, maybe, it, maybe the game's just taking up too much resource. I don't think it is, though. It seems that my internet connection is just not as good. But I guess maybe that is v, maybe that could be V-Sync. Uh, do I have V-Sync on... Maximum UI resolution. It will wet surfaces. Rendering Depth of the field. I all right. I just got the call for me to go eat. All right. I'm gonna wrap it up here. Uh, thank you so much for helping me, Ayla. I appreciate it. Um, as again, I'll be back in a few hours. We'll do a uh, Paper Mario tonight. I'm gonna take a bit of a break though. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go raid. Uh, Darius the Snow. They're playing Miasma Chronicles. So let's go ahead and give them a raid. Stick around, say hi if you'd like. Otherwise, I'll be back in a little bit. Thank you so much for helping me. And, uh, yeah. More Final Fantasy XIV soon. Take care.